trouble with New Year's resolutions is that, as we all know, they're complete toss. You can't do it. It doesn't matter what plans or self-help books or advice or whatever else you happen to have read. In the end, it all comes down to one thing, and that's your willpower. Personally, my willpower lasts about three months before I give up. So if you're looking to make changes in your life for New Year's, you might as well. You know, it, it's completely arbitrary time to make yourself you know, promises and steal your will to make some kind of big difference in your life. But it is incredibly difficult to overcome habits and desires and likes and things that you've had for years and years and years. It's, it's virtually impossible. So, yeah, that's a bit of a downer, isn't it? Because making positive changes into diet and things are, are, are good. I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't try. It's, it, you might be able to make it stick. The important thing is to make it a habit. For me, my big problems are exercising because I find it so fucking boring. So I end up not doing it just because I can't face it. The only thing I really like doing is walking because every time you go out, there's there's something different, something new. It's a new stimulating environment. But repetitive exercise bores me rigid. The other big problem I have is concentration. Some of that's a side effect of depression. Some of that's a side effect of the medication for depression. Some of it's just the nature of the human mind. And when you work from home as well, that just adds on to other issues. So I'm going to run an experiment. I have no idea whether it's going to work. You are welcome to join me should you so wish, um, but it's not really going to help you out unless you're someone that works for yourself and needs to be self-motivated. So what I've decided to do is to, in effect, gamify in, in a, to a degree my workday um, to try and break it up so I'm doing different things and not just staring at a blank screen for a long time or feeling guilty about something else I should be doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a deck of cards and on those cards are going to be things that I need to do. Some of that's going to be work, some of that's going to be stuff I would do to take a break from work, some of it's going to be stuff around the house. And the idea is for each of these things to have at least five minutes on that with an upper limit generally of about 45 minutes. Apparently, according to psychological studies and things that I've read, 45 minutes is about as long as you can productively concentrate on something before your performance starts to drop off. So the idea is that by breaking up my day into chunks of 45 minutes or less, I can keep things fresh, keep my brain going, stay alert, carry on. I'm going to experiment with a few other things as well over the course of the year as and when I can afford it, new tropics, shit like that. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. But the thing to start off with is the cards. I think it's a good idea because you can make yourself a deck and then you can put down on that deck things that you need to do, things that you want to do. You can set the deck aside if you've got a rush job or something on that, need, that needs doing. If you see something in the deck you don't like, you can take it aside. If you don't want to repeat something, you can take the cards out as you hit them. But you've got a randomizer that you can use to get you through your day doing one thing after another. So that might be... Or... You know, if you just spend five minutes doing that, that breaks up your day, breaks up the work you're doing. You could always... Or even... You know, little rewards, things that, that spur you on and to make you hope that some other job's going to come and come out of the deck. Anyway, I'm going to experiment with that. You're welcome to join me. I'll do some follow-ups and see how it goes. Today was not a good day to start, though, because I've had to go through a fucking dentist and the doctor. So my first day of my work here has been a bit of a shitter. Anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing. We'll see how it works. If it works well, maybe I'll write a self-help book and <laughs> make millions from gullible cunts. All right. Take care, guys. Zang. Crunchy,